In this video, I'm going to talk about holiday calendar. Now, holiday calendar defines the holiday for a particular calendar. Now, basically, it is used to define a holiday for your customer service calendar. So, think about uh, that if you have an organization which has its own calendar, say, let's assume we call it as a customer service calendar. Okay. Now, if we want to attach a holiday to that particular calendar, we can define our own holidays and then attach it to that customer service calendar example if we have an organization say abc corp okay and we define that abc corp is going to run for next five years okay so we define the calendar from 2023 till 2028 okay and now if we have an another holiday schedule calendar where we will have 2023 public holiday 2024 public holiday till 2028 and if we define those holidays in a separate calendar and attach that calendar to the main calendar then effective working day for that particular public calendar uh, will be uh, the resultant of that okay so uh, it is useful while calculating the service level agreement now uh, how it is configured is again we need to go into the customer service admin center go to holiday calendar create our own calendar put those uh, dates over here uh, and then uh, we define those calendars now there's a similar term over here called as holiday okay now remember this holiday is different than the holiday calendar now this holiday is specific to a working hour okay so there are two things one is there is a holiday calendar and second is there is a holiday within a working hour okay so don't get confused between two different things i'm going to explain you separately what does that mean okay so let's jump into the demo now in order to navigate to the calendar first what we need to do is go to the customer service admin center and you can search admin settings and then you can search for holiday okay now alternatively you can go to operations under calendar you will see a holiday calendar so let's go into holiday calendar so go into holiday calendar i can see there are a couple of holiday calendar schedules defined okay let me create one okay say new and let me call this as say new york 2023 uh, public holiday okay now let me copy this in the description as well and i have now creating a new york 2023 public holiday calendar now here i can say uh once it is created i can say new and then i'll say oh there's a say thanksgiving okay and thanksgiving holiday is on say i'm just making this up okay so maybe 30th of november okay and duration is for one day okay i'll just save this then I will add a Christmas holiday, uh, which is on 25th of the 12th. Mm -hmm. So that is Christmas holiday, right? So we got okay. Now what we have essentially done is we have created a public holiday calendar specific to a region or department or a city or an organization or anything, you know, and we have defined that calendar and this calendar is now over here now here from here you can navigate to different uh, uh, areas like say here if you have a holiday for 2024 2023 you can you know like navigate here i have named it 2023 public holiday that means i'm just using it for 2023 but then you can make it generic and you can use it for all the years okay so it is wise to use it for all the year it's just for an example purpose i'm showing you that use it for say one particular year okay but you have to be uh, you can decide your own you know like this system of public holiday now once this is all done we can save and close okay now this is about public holiday but where are you going to use this okay so under calendar we have something called as a customer service calendar now this is the your organization's calendar your organization will decide when your customer service will be operating you know that organization now I have already created a couple of calendar over here. I'll just go into one of the customer service calendar just to show you that where to use this holiday schedule. Now it has name, description, status, and you know, like when it will start operating and all those things, there's work hours and all those things. Now below here, we say holiday schedule and I'll say observe. Okay. If I say do not observe, then 
we don't have any holidays but if you say observe then we need to specify which holiday then i'll say okay for here i want new york holiday to be uh say uh used so i'll select new york 2023 public holiday and the time zone is maybe uh, i'll put a gmt plus 10 mm -hmm. Uh, and then I click on save. Okay. Ideally, this GMT should be a New York time zone, but uh, just for demo purpose, I'm just putting this. Okay. So this is how you create a holiday calendar and attach it to a customer service calendar so that that holiday takes into effect. Okay. Now, again, I'm in an admin center. If I go to operating hours, okay. Now, operating hours is the days and hours your team will be available. Okay, this is not the organization or customer service calendar is all about organization, but this is when your team will be available. Think about a situation whereby, you know, you have two offices. So one is, say, New York office, and maybe another is, a, say, Philadelphia office. Okay, so now you have two offices, okay, and you have this big organization, which has staff in New York as well as Philadelphia, say, ABC Corporation, okay. Now you will say the office starts from 7 a.m. to say 7 p.m. Okay. Now this is what you have defined and it is Monday to Friday. Okay. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. This is at an organization level. For New York staff, you know, you may hire five people and for Philadelphia, you may hire say seven people. Now for New York staff, you might say uh, all uh, staff will work from 7 a.m. to uh, 1 p.m. Okay. Now this 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And for Philadelphia, you will say people will start from say 2 p.m. Uh, to uh, 7 p.m. Okay. This is what the arrangement is. Now the 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. This is this is basically your operation hours or operating hours. Okay. This is your operating hours. Now this one, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., this one for your organization is a customer service calendar, okay? So this is the main difference between customer service calendar and operating hours. Now within operating hours, you may say, say New York maybe has a special public holiday on say some day. So you can define that, okay? Now how do you define this? Now for if for an organization, if there is a Christmas or if there is a uh, Thanksgiving or all those kind of dates, you can specify holiday calendar over here. Okay. Now for individual operation hours, you can't specify a holiday calendar, but you can specify something called a holiday. Okay. So you specify a holiday. Now, how do you specify that? I'll show you now. Go to operating hours, click on manage and under manage you pick up any operating hours. So let's assume this is that operating hours which we have created. Now here under working hours, you will see something called as a holiday. Now remember this holiday is not the holiday uh, uh, which we have configured at an organization level. This is just a holiday for the working hours. So let's assume if I say there is a holiday and then this holiday is for 25th of October and it's for a day and for this time zone, I'll just say click save here and here you will see this holiday will appear right so that's the difference basically between operating our holiday and the holiday of the actual calendar so coming back to here uh, there are multiple things happening over here we have uh, shown you how to uh, create a holiday calendar holiday calendar is attached to a customer service calendar only okay now this is at an organization level, okay? Operating hours, it is at a team level and the, your organization can have multiple teams working uh, around the clock, okay? So that's it folks. This is all about uh, holiday calendar within Dynamics 365 customer service app. Thanks for watching.